Welcome to our amazing, unique school. Come inside to find out more. Within nursery, Third Millennium Learning is about, for me, incorporating the changes in the world and the technologies and making sure we're allowing our children to access them as well. Just because they're only three and they're turning four doesn't mean that they haven't had the opportunities at home to access things like the iPads, the computers, music. So what we try and do is bring that into the classroom to make their learning creative and energetic and they respond to that really well. Oh yeah, stories! So we've been using the story phones in nursery to promote independent reading. They're a lot more engaged with their reading and it's something that they go back to as well themselves later on in the day. And the enthusiasm for reading in nursery has really grown because of that. So this is the reception class and we have 45 children. With us using um, ICT, uh, the children are really engaged with their learning and we find that the children just absolutely on the morning, they're straight in, straight on task, they can't wait to see what we're learning today and I think it's because we are very hands on, the children are using all different kinds of technology that they are used to at home and when they come to school they're really focused and, and they can lead the learning. Uh, we try to create an environment that's totally immersive to what we're learning to enable the children to understand and learn more about what they're learning about. I made them little me and Lois can find loads of treasure and put it in a treasure chest. I'm going to be driving the bus to see. We're currently in a literacy session and the children are doing different activities. I've got a group doing some spellbound on the DS, so they're just practicing all their phonics. You've got to guess what words it is. So Emily's got 18 right and two. I think it's good to use the DS because it's more fun and we learn more. I think we're all very ahead of the game in how children learn and that they're, they're doing all of the time within their lessons um, and they're learning in a variety of ways not just writing with a piece of paper and pencil um, they're writing using DS's, they're writing using computers they're, they're writing using magnets on the um, radiators and they're all really really engaged in what they're doing which means that they want to learn and they want to progress in their learning in Queen Stage 1 we did, recently did a rainforest topic where we were raising money to an adoption in Danger Denmark and across the half term the children have been making merchandise that could then be sold to the Third Millennium Learning is about installing in our children that they become lifelong learners. So what we do is across school that we ensure children develop a growth mindset. This means that we celebrate the children's mistakes, we install in the children that it's not the end result we're looking for, it's the learning process that we go on to achieve that. Within our numeracy sessions, we use Nintendo DS's daily as a way to improve the children's mental math skills. At the beginning of the year, we recorded a video which involved the stick playing the game, and ever since the children have been competing to beat the score, and we've had children halve the score of the stick and are still now beating their own target. Take one. Action. Hello, my name's Bethany, and welcome to Robin Hood TV. <laughs> Like two weeks to like create some designs and then we have to like make a pitch to these two people and the like and the best ones they're gonna pick and it's like gonna be put on a real life product that's gonna be sold in the Leeds Museum. It, it really like helps us to learn for when we're applying for jobs and everything when we're older. I think Third Millennium Learning is definitely the opportunity for the children to break the boundaries of education and the curriculum. It's developing the curriculum around the children's uh, individual and personalised needs. It's allowing the children to take control over what it is that they're learning rather than the teachers prescribing.